In today's video, we are going to be taking a deep look into the new Midjourney 5.2 update. I'm excited to get into this, and I think this is one of Midjourney's biggest updates yet, and I know I say that every single time, but they continue to blow my mind with some of the new features that they are adding. Let me dive into the overview of the things that they have changed and the things that they have added. So as you can see, there is a plethora of new items and changes here. Firstly, they have a new aesthetic system. So we have improved aesthetics and sharper images. This one is pretty exciting as well. Slightly improved coherence and text understanding. So the model is getting much smarter. They've added increased diversity in version 5.2 and they've changed the stylized command. So the stylized command has been fixed to have a little bit stronger of an effect on your images. So the command now goes from stylized zero to stylized 1000 and the default value is set at stylize 100. The next new thing in version 5.2 is a high variation mode. This is actually turned on by default and it makes your jobs and the images that your job is producing much more varied than before. Next, they've added a new shorten command. So this is going to take your long prompts and make them shorter, and it's also going to give you a score on what words are actually doing. So you can see if some of the words that you're using within your prompts are actually causing a difference in the images that your prompts are generating. Next, one of the fan favorite features is the zoom out feature, and I am very excited about this one. All the upscales now have a zoom out button underneath the actual image, so you can actually zoom the image out to your liking. And it doesn't stop there. You can keep on zooming out an upscaled image until you get as far away as you'd like. And when you zoom out, it adds things that go well within the image. So out painting is now in mid journey. And if you add a custom zoom, what you can do is you can change your prompt when you zoom out at the same time. So you can get very creative with this. And I want to show you a few examples of how others have used the zoom out feature a little bit later in this video. So if you want to change these settings, what you can do is type in slash settings just like before, and it will pull up all of your settings. As you can see, automatically you're set to mid journey version 5.2. And just like Midjourney 5.1, there's also a raw mode. So when you are in raw mode, Midjourney is going to be a little less opinionated and it's going to gravitate towards your prompt a little bit more rather than if you didn't have raw mode selected. Down in the bottom right here, as you can see, we have high variation mode now and low variation mode. If you do select low variation mode, it's going to make your initial four images not have much variation. Where if you select high variation mode, those four images are going to be much more different than if you had low variation mode selected. I personally recommend leaving it on high variation mode because if it's generating four completely different images, you have a better chance of getting the image that you want. Right off the bat, I wanna show you the differences in pictures between version 5.1 and version 5.2. So this is a picture that I've just generated with version 5.2. Here's a little bit bigger shot of this image. And if I go over to my AI art studio, this is the exact same prompt I used except in 5.1 and it gave me this image. Now I really do like them both, but I have always been wondering how many of my words that I'm using within my prompt have actually made a difference. Well, this is where the shorten command comes in play. So what I can do in order to shorten my prompts is type in slash shorten. And then it's just like slash imagine where you have slash shorten and then a prompt command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole prompt with control C and paste it in with control V. Now when I send it off, it'll say mid journey bot is thinking. And what you'll notice is up top, it says important tokens. What this is doing is this is showing you the words that are actually being used within the prompt that you send off. The words that are crossed off, mid journey is not paying attention to, and it's not having any effect on your actual images that are being generated. Lighting is crossed off. So mid journey isn't even looking at that word when it's trying to generate this prompt. If we keep on going, octane render, is crossed off. So this has been something people have been using for months, you know, people have always been putting octane render within their prompts, but mid journey saying, Hey, I don't even use that when I'm looking to generate these images. It crossed out photorealistic and interstellar style. All it needs to know is just interstellar. And then beneath the important tokens, as you can see, it will give you five new shortened prompts in order to generate good images. And what you can do is you can click between one, two, three, four, or five in the buttons below in order to copy that prompt. So if I were to hit one, what it will do is pop up this box where it says create images with mid journey. And what you can either do is you can copy this or you can just hit submit. And as you can see, it will start generating a new image. I did forget to add my parameters at the end, but that's okay. If you want to go even more in depth, what you can do is hit show details. And what it's going to do is show you a graph of the most important words that are being used within this prompt. So earth is a 0.35, you know, this is a pretty important word to keep. 
existential is a 0.09 and Nikos has a weight of 1.0 which is the word being taken into consideration the most with this prompt. As you can see the shortened prompt generated something completely different than the non-shortened prompt. I think it's taking Nikos the style of his graffiti art and implementing it a lot more than it was before. What we're going to do now is we are going to try the zoom feature on Midjourney 5.2 so I'm going to go back up top to these images I generated earlier, and I'm going to hit upscale on number four. So now, as you can see, we have all of these different buttons now beneath an upscaled image. You can actually zoom out as many times as you want, and this makes for some very cool images. Let's try a zoom out 2x. So we have our initial image here, and this is pretty scaled in. And after zooming out, these are the images that we get. So as you can see, this new outpainting feature in Midjourney is very cool. And like I said earlier, you can keep zooming out as many times as you want. Now, what I think this really helps with is when you're trying to get a full body shot of a subject and the upper half of the body is only present within the image. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I scroll up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upscale one of these images. My prompt is cinematic wide full body shot, still image of a gladiator, dramatic in an abandoned amusement park. Okay, so I want to see a little bit more of this abandoned amusement park. And I also want to see the full body of this bottom right character here. So what I'm first going to do is upscale my image. And now that that's upscaled, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a 1.5x zoom out on this character here. So as you can see, the 1.5x zoom out was a little bit subtle. This is our original image that we had before zooming out. And then after we zoom out, what it does is it zooms out and using out painting, it adds some characters right here in the background. So now I'm going to take the time and zoom out five more times on 2x just to show you how cool this can be when you get very far out. So here are the results after only three zoom outs. So the first zoom out we did was 1.5x and the image changed from this to this. So already the image is better. It's adding more detail. It's adding people. As you can see down here in the bottom left, it looks like some people were cut out of the screen. When I zoom out, it fills in the gaps there with the out painting. And you can also start to see a little bit more of this gladiator's body. When I zoom out again, that made a huge difference. Now we have an entire carousel here. You can see this gladiator's full body. The vignette is starting to get a little bit more dramatic. And then we zoom out yet again. And as you can see, we can now see the full gladiator's body, completely different elements of the picture. This Reddit user here posted a video saying the zoom out feature gives us some interesting possibilities. If I play the video, as you can see, they piled together a bunch of their zoom outs, edit the video in After Effects, it almost looks like they're just recording a video. So we have the most recent zoom out, but what happens if we hit custom zoom? As you can see, this box will pop up where we can now zoom out and change the prompt when we do zoom out. I'm going to change gladiator to cinematic wide full body shot still image of lions. And let's just see how changing gladiator to lion completely mixes up this prompt when we zoom out. So now I'm going to hit submit. And the vignette is starting to actually completely take over the image. But as you can see, changing the prompt from just gladiator to lions actually added in a completely different element to the picture than we had before. And now we can keep zooming out and just keep becoming more and more creative with different prompts. Now this picture definitely looks pretty weird and it does need some tweaking, but I just wanted to show you the effect that changing one word in your prompt can have when zooming out. So now I'm going to show you a little progression where I click through the tabs and maybe it will look like a video. So here's shot number one. Two, three, four, five. Now I'm very excited for this update. I've got a lot of ideas in mind about how I'm going to use it, but I also want to hear how you will use it in the comments below. Also subscribe to the channel if you like watching Mid Journey. I usually make new Mid Journey content every week. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.